It's been a long time since we've been sharing these timely messages, and we hope and pray that these timely messages will be only about happy, joyous things. Most importantly, the Besuda Tov of the Geula, which is the most timely message that we can ever have. But I do want to refer now to a debate that's raging in our community and in many communities at large. And we're going to talk very openly about it, and that's the vaccine debate. I'm not going to give an answer whether one should vaccinate or not, but I want to discuss the principle of Torah. And like in every question, our Torah is a Torah or is a Torah of light. The Torah gives us clear principles and policies. And it's also a Torah schaim, a Torah of life. The Torah provides us with a way of life. Our Torah is very clear that medical questions are to be determined by doctors. You are not the barometer of truth. This principle that people should be debating whether we should vaccinate or not vaccinate, and everybody has an opinion on the matter, is anathema to Torah. You are not entitled to your opinion when it comes to medical matters. You are not entitled to your opinion when it comes to Torah matters. Freedom, exchange of ideas are all beautiful principles. But the Torah principle is that when it comes to medical doctors, medical matters, we, our job is to follow what doctors are saying. That is the principle of Torah. People think they have to research every single thing, check out all the different types of information. I have people phoning me nonstop. They want to convince me of this argument and of that argument. And I should look the, through all the literature and videos, some of which are true and some of which are untrue and many of which are just Stam Hak and Shainik. It's not your job to research this stuff. When did you become a doctor? When did that become your responsibility? A, it's a waste of time. It's Bittal Torah. B, the Rebbe wrote to people many, many times when it came to medical matters, they should not research this matter. They should listen to the doctors and they should not involve their mind in their medical condition other than listening to doctors' instructions. That was before the information superhighway. That was before it was social media explosion where everybody has an opinion. They spread it out all over. Every one of these WhatsApp groups should be closed completely. They have nothing to contribute to this discussion. This discussion is purely a medical discussion. You can't even answer a question about the same Talamutter for heaven's sake. You're going to decide about Pikuach Nefesh? Pikuach Nefesh issues of life and death, Chas Sholem? You're going to make those determinations? A question of Pikuach Nefesh is supposed to be determined by Rabbanim and when it comes to the Torah aspect and by doctors to determine the medical aspect. So then comes an argument that I will find a doctor that agrees with my opinion. So that, as in Halacha, people shop out for a Rav I'll find a Rav that agrees with my opinion. You shouldn't have an opinion to begin with to go look for such a doctor. And of course, in everything we have a range of opinions. Torah tells us to follow majority. That applies both in medical matters and halacha matters. You can always find the Das Yachid, a sole minority loan opinion, which has been disqualified from mainstream halacha and rejected. You can find a loan opinion in medicine. The majority of doctors, of mainstream doctors who are recognized, who have licenses, say one thing. Conspiracy theories to say that doctors are saying this because they're being paid. The Rabbanim are saying this because they're employed by the government. These Rabbanim are saying that because they're related to other people. That's apicursus. That's against the Torah. To say that Rabbanim have an agenda is against the Torah. The Torah did not tell you to come up with conspiracy theories. That is not part of Torah. The Torah says, listen to Rabbanim, and the Torah says, listen to doctors. You are not an expert in the field of halacha. You're not the one that's supposed to decide whether this should be a native or shouldn't be a native. You're not the one to decide whether one should vaccinate or not vaccinate. And furthermore, you have no ownership over your body to begin with. That's another principle of Torah. The Torah says that nobody has ownership over their body. This whole concept of liberalism, where I get to decide what I feel is right and people shouldn't be taking away my privileges and my rights to make choices for myself, is also not a Torah decision. And again, I'm not discussing whether there should be mandates or there shouldn't be mandates. That's a secular question. It's definitely not my field to discuss legal issues and secular issues. But I'm talking about the principle, a person does not have bilis on his goof on his body. You're not allowed to fast 
and afflict your body, depending when there are situations when yeah, when not, or injure your body, because you have no ownership over your body. You are not supposed to decide whether you should get vaccinated or not. That is a flawed way of thinking. The decision whether you should get vaccinated or not is a medical question and should be determined by doctors. This whole machlokes is splitting apart our community. I will say, regardless of the fact that it's pretty clear where I stand on this matter, although I also shouldn't have an opinion on the matter either, but I will say is that we shouldn't even be arguing about it. Not because live and let live, that's also not a Torah approach. Because we're not supposed to be arguing altogether. It's not our subject. It's not our field. It's, there's no religious shlichus that we have that we're supposed to promote a certain type of opinion. And because we're supposed to have Abbas Yisrael to all Yidin, regardless of whether they have opinions which they shouldn't be having or not. We should stop making this a polarized discussion. We should stop arguing about it. We should do what the Torah says. We are an Am Chachem Venovin. We are a smart nation. As Chassid and Befrat, we're Chassid and Chabad, Chachma bin Vadas. I am embarrassed sometimes of how low we have fallen in terms of Chachma bin Vadas. Because we think we're Chachma bin Vadas, we think we are the smart Alex and we have to make decisions on our own. But in Hashem, we have a Torah, Torah Ur. The Torah says that the doctor is given the authority to make such decisions. And it's not that you ask the doctor and then you do whatever you want. Like someone was telling me today, you consult with their of. And you consult with the doctor. In our liberal mindset, I make the decisions and I consult. I use them only for consultation purposes. I, what's the point of hearing what they have to say? And then you make your own opinion. Or like the Rebbe once said, at Fregmam Rav, you'll ask the rabbi and then you'll threaten him. That if the rabbi doesn't say what you want to say, you're going to do who knows what. You ask a Rav a Shaila and the Rav makes the Psak. You ask a doctor a question and he makes a psak. And whatever is mainstream medical view, that's what you should be doing. So the Abish tells him that Siruch Hatoma Avaman Aritz, the Abish should eradicate all machlas and all sicknesses, which including his sicknesses is emotional sicknesses and mental sicknesses and deus and wrong attitudes and wrong approaches. We needed a fool from that. We shouldn't be embarrassed to say the view of Torah. And the view of Torah is that we should listen to doctors and we should not believe any of this garbage stuff that people are saying that is not coming from the area of Torah. People who say such things are not re- representing the view of Torah. We shouldn't fight with people. We should respect people. But no, we should not respect everybody's opinion. There are opinions that are not within the purview of Torah. So they wish to help, we should be Zaychti, Mesa Mashiach, when all of this will be eradicated, and we'll have the Gula, Amitiz Vashlema, and we'll all be healthy and safe and free, and all viruses will be eradicated from the world. Take it from Yad Mamish.